If you're ever in Los Angeles and you're out here handling business, make sure you tap in with some solid homies for your own security. The streets is dangerous. If you're not tapped in, you will get stepped on. Believe that. You will get stepped on. Believe that. The streets is dangerous. Tap in. Tap the fuck in. So first of all, you know, I want to say that he's right. I want to say that the streets is dangerous. And if you don't know people where you're going, then you probably shouldn't be there. You know, you should be very careful. You should have your back. But I want to know why do we impose this level of fear and threats to our own people, right? I don't, I don't see us telling white people to check in. I don't see us telling the Asians to check in. I don't see us telling the Jews to check in, the, the Arabs to check in. Why, 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 why do we impose terror and fear and willing to rob from the people who got the least? Us, black and Hispanic and Latinos, had the least in this country. But we willing to take what we got and our lives. But we not telling nobody who got way more than us. A, a, a man, a white man with a suit could have a million dollars in his briefcase. And the same brothers that's telling us that we need to tap in and check in because the streets is dangerous won't say nothing to them. But a black or Hispanic brother walk around with a chain that might be $500 because it's damn most of the shit is fake you'll take his whole head off and kill him for it. Why? Like who taught us, who taught us to hate ourselves like that? Who taught us to target only us? Who taught us that you gonna rob from the least, the people who got the least? We gonna kill and rob each other. Everybody else got more than us and we scared to death to do something to them, but we willing to take our risk. Just think about it. The same life you gonna get for robbing somebody who got nothing, it's the same lifetime sentence you're going to get for robbing somebody who got more. So what is the logic that we have? Why, why do we hate each other so much? And who changes the narrative, right? How do we utilize our voices? I've heard ever since this PNB Rock situation happened, I've heard a bunch of people, people that I respect, saying, yo, you can't be out there like that. That's just what it is. But who's the brave nigga that's going to say, yo, how it is is fucked up? How it is is wrong, and I'm not okay with it, right? Who's going to say, yo, if you fuck with me, that shit right there is whack. That ain't some shit we should do. Like, we shouldn't be robbing each other. Like, places in our cities and our communities should feel safe, and we should make them feel safe because we men, because we men of a certain caliber. Who, who, where are those voices at? I've heard everybody telling me, well, that's just shit, how shit is. But how did shit get that way, right? Somebody made it that way. So who is the person that's going to change the culture and shift it? They say it ain't like that no more. Who willing to be on the front line of changing the culture to where we're not invested in our demise and our death and our degradation, but we invested in our lives. We invested in our growth, our evolution, our unity. Who's, who's the dudes, the tough, real men that's going to stand up and make a video and say, yo, you know what? That shit that happened. We not okay with that, man. And we ain't jacking that. And that's just not how we moving no more. People should feel safe in our communities. Especially people that look like us that come to our communities. They should feel safe. Where's those voices? We, I don't hear none of that. I hear everybody that's telling me. I hear all the, the tough niggas telling me how shit is fucked up. And you got to do this. And you get to check in and all this. I don't want nobody to check in with me. I want a nigga to be. I want to make people safe. Don't check in with me. Don't check in. One of my homeboys come, I'm going to give them the ropes. Don't go here. And that's what you should do. But we, we imposing our will. We threatening niggas. If you don't do this, we're going to do this. Guns on camera. I mean, if that's your culture, understand that LA's culture is different and everybody has a different culture. But why is that the culture? And why are we accepting that as the culture? Why have we made abnormal shit normal? Why are we so comfortable killing and taking and disrespecting and doing everything to us. Nipsey said one of the realest things, he was doing an interview and he said, you know, when I was riding down and we had beef and we was in the car, he said, I would drive by, white dude in the suit, drive by. Asian dude in the suit and got his regular sneakers, I drive by, I'm, I ain't looking for him. He said, the nigga who was dressed just like me that had the same uniform I had on, same hoodie, same pants and sneakers, was the person 
that was my op. Think about that.